I just remember seeing him and it broke my heart. He's just this chubby little puppy with his skin all cracked without me knowing his backstory. I remember turning to Alexis and I'm like, this is the one. I can't leave here without him. A lot of things were going through my mind, taking him back home. I just didn't know if he was gonna be comfortable. But he was just different as soon as he came in. He was just running around the living room and picking up toys. It's like he was instantly comfortable. Like, I could breathe. This is where I'm gonna be. He's such a good boy. About 60% of his body was bald and full of scabs. With his skin condition, I had to keep him clothed all the time. I would get up really early, give him his first rounds of meds. Every time I fed him, I made sure that I was adding in his vitamins to get him on the right track. He had medicated baths every other day. So Sage is all ready for bed. I lathered him up in coconut oil to soothe that skin. He is sound asleep. He got all of his meds for the night and played a little. And we'll see what tomorrow brings. Good night, Sage. On top of his skin condition, he had a severe upper respiratory infection a lot of times. I question whether he was gonna make it. Sage is actually doing a little worse tonight than he was earlier in the day, so I'm washing everything. All of the dog toys, all of the dog bowls, um, machine washing, hand washing. There was times where I literally slept beside Sage's cage because I didn't want to leave him alone. It was definitely hard. He's a good boy. He's a good boy but every day we were just loving on him and making sure that he had constant attention. And then out of nowhere, he hit a healing spurt where every day it was just better and better and better. I would say the first week, Sage and our other dog, Sparky, really hit it off. They were playing all the time. Good boys. Sage always wants to snuggle with Sparky. Every day he kind of grew a little bit more hair and a little bit more hair and now he's fully covered and there's not one bump on his fur. The best part is to see him come back to life after weeks of taking care of him and her doing everything she possibly could for him. Just gets to be a dog. He's 100% him and living life now to the fullest. He went from being a scared puppy to being so happy. I think Sage has taught me so much about myself, but also taught me how to love better. I firmly believe love can heal. I love that I get to see Sage and his spirit.